Hey YouTube! Oh my gosh, I've been gone for so long. My dog wants to say hi, apparently. Say hi a little bit. Hey. Hey. Ew. Okay, you gotta go now because I'm making. Like, oh, Jesus. This is not how I wanted to greet. Oh! Come in my mouth. Start this again. Well, hey, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. I know I've been missing in action for a while, but that's because, you know, school, procrastination, something I said I wasn't going to do this year. It's procrastination. You know, but school and procrastination, and then I've been sick. You know, since the new year started, like, 2015 just hit me hard and was like, oh, sicknesses and diseases. Well, not diseases, but I was sick. But I'm all better now. So, um, I've really been trying to figure out, like, what am I going to make a YouTube video on? Because it's winter. It's so uneventful. Like, what do I do in the winter? I mean, what do I do in the summer and the spring and the fall? I mean, I don't do anything. But really, what do I do in the winter? Nothing. Oh my gosh, I need to make a video because my subscribers gonna unsubscribe and I'm not gonna get no new subscribers and blah blah blah. And I'm researching videos and I came across the perfect topic for girls, which I'm pretty sure the majority of my subscribers are. But you know, guys can watch this video. So today's theme is how to get a guy to like you, and I'm going to try to get the give the best advice I can because. Many people don't know, I've only been in two relationships my whole 17 years of living. So, you know, hey, I'm going to just give you this advice. But I've had a ton of people who actually had, like, crushes on me and stuff. So, this is my advice to you young girls. or you older girls? or you girls who just aren't as lucky in that area of boys liking you? This is the advice I'm going to give. But hold up. Can we just take a moment? Just one moment and realize that I got my braids and I am so proud of myself. I sat through four hours to get my hair braided and I just want to tell you that my braids are on fleek, baby. On fleek, yes. Um, If you want the number to the girl who did my braids, you can DM me on Instagram. Or you could DM me on Twitter because she said I could give her number out, but I'm not going to put it in this video, like, in the description. And she lives in Detroit. So, if you live in Michigan and are willing to travel to Detroit to get your braids on, like mine, then I'll give you her number. No so, problem. how to get a boy to like you. Rule number Rule number one is to completely be yourself. Like, I feel like you should not be someone else to get somebody to like you. Because at the end of the day, if you guys get in a relationship, you don't want to start off the relationship on a lie. You don't want them thinking you're a certain way and then you turn out to be the other way. You should want somebody who's going to accept you for you. So be yourself. If you, you know, loose, quiet, geeky girl, boys are attracted to that. Because boys like smart girls. And if you a little hood, you know... Rough rider, mm. you know, be a little hood. Rough rider, ride a die chick. Because I know a lot of boys tweet about those girls. And you know, it don't mean be ratchet, but you can still be hood. Be true to yourself. And, you know, that's just the first thing to get in the water like you is just being yourself. So, rule number two is to have goals and ambitions. Because nobody. One no slappy little girl who ain't got no goals for herself that thinks she about to cheat the government and get on food stamps and be like that the rest of her life. Like, men want a lady that compliments themselves. And who wants to bring a little no goal having a chick home to their mama? Like, who can brag on that? Boys like something they can brag on. Like, oh, look at my girl. She's the CEO of Mac. Oh. Look at my girl. She's the athletic trainer for the Lions. Oh, look at my girl. She is a teacher. Look at my girl. She is a nurse. Look at my girl. She's a doctor. Look at my girl. She is something that I can brag on and something I can be proud of. So have goals and ambitions. Like, don't think you about to just get a guy. I almost use profanity. Don't, 
don't think you can just get a guy and then they just be like and just live off of them like you you don't want a guy that could just take care of you and this i don't i don't want to say it's anything wrong with being a housewife because if that's what you want to do that's what you want to do but still you always have you know that backup you always have, have ambitions you always have no goals because personally i think that's what guys are most Woo, this is the most important rule rule number three you must carry yourself with class and you know i know no rule number one was to be true to yourself you know never you know be someone you're not so if you're a hood chick be a hood chick don't be ratchet like it's the difference between being hood and being ratchet you know carry yourself with class don't run around here and being a little thought because who wants a thought and if you a thought and you know you a thought and like if you a thought and you know you a thought you should know that boys only want you for your thoughtish ways and your thoughtish body so carry yourself with class and i who am i to define how class is because class to me might not be class to you so you know what class is you see what you like you see what you think class is define yourself as that person pick somebody who you think is classy and mimic them i'm not saying be just like them but mimic them and try to you know copy their ways be classy be graceful don't be ratchet don't be thottish because boys don't like ratchet thottish girls especially thottish girls like that's not cute rule number four do not kiss ass and this is a very important rule because i don't care how much you like somebody do not kiss ass because people will take advantage of you people will honestly take advantage of you people will you know see you like them and say hey she likes me well maybe she's gonna do this and do that for me call you up do my homework for me call you up go give me some this and that call you up do this and do that and then you just constantly find yourself doing it. And I, I've, I've been a victim of this, you know, back in the young days, you know. But, like, doing stuff for them because you like them and you're kissing them ass. To, you're kissing their ass to make them like you more, if that makes sense. Like, just don't kiss ass. If you don't feel like doing nothing, don't do it. Like, just do not kiss ass like that. No, that's not cute. If they're going to take advantage of you, you shouldn't be liking them in the first place. And... I have nothing else to say on that subject because you don't need to kiss ass. And number five, you need to learn how to accept rejection. You need to learn that everybody is not going to like you. I don't care how much you like somebody. It was this boy I liked in middle school from elementary to like seventh grade. It was like fourth grade, seventh grade. His name was Zachary. And I liked him so much. And he did not like me for some reason. Like, I mean, of course, I was just a little baddie you know but <laughs> he didn't like me so i don't know but you know all those years it took me to learn how to accept rejection you know first i wouldn't accept it i'm like oh he'll come around but you know after you know i was left the school i'm like forget him you know we you know we will talk occasionally after that but not on like flirting type stuff more on like some hey i knew you since fourth grade type stuff so anyway block take out the personal story <laughs> Um, learn how to take rejection. Everybody is not going to like you. Everybody is not here to like you. So even if you like that one person, one, that one guy so much and he just don't like you back, then just learn how to accept that because he's not going to like you back. And eventually, once you get your glow up, he might start like you. But then you're going to be like, remember when I liked you and you didn't like me? <sighs> oh, sorry. On to the next. Okay? Unless you really still have feelings for him and still want to, you know, get to know him or whatever then you don't have to do all that but me personally i mean like you remember you like i liked you when i wasn't you know cute and slaying the game and da 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 and you didn't want me so you can't have me now that i'm slaying the game sorry you should have liked me when i was you know not as cute and had the little twisties yes that's about you zachary that was about you <laughs> so no i don't even I don't even talk to him anymore. Hmm. I hope he's doing well. I really do. Because he was a really cool guy. He was a 
really cool friend and i'm not saying that he wants me now because like i said i haven't talked to him in so long but still if you do want me you should have liked me back in on fourth fifth and sixth grade when i still had the pigtails and my mama made me go to school man the little t- <laughs> you should have liked me then before i you know glowed up that's what they call it nowadays before i glowed up and it worked. that's that's what So, that was my five things on how to get a guy to like you. Those are my opinion. If you want to argue my opinion, feel free to drop the argument in the comments below. Okay? If you got anything to add to my opinion, add it in the comments below. Tweet me. Instagram me. Do all of it. Because guess what? All that stuff going to be in the description below. Okay? And make sure y'all subscribe to me because I would love to make more videos. And please tell me what y'all want to hear. Because like I said, I had to research topics. Because I did not know what the YouTube public wanted. But you know, you know, you got to work to get what you want. And I appreciate y'all. So watch, subscribe, watch, subscribe, and uh, like my videos. I promise I will get this thing popping every week. I lie. P.O.P. Holding it down. Pip Squad. <laughs> 313. Let's get that sketch on. Because my friend Roman was tweeting about that earlier. He was like, instead of people saying 313, let's say 313. And you know, it was a big deal to him. And I told him, like, it's probably not going to catch on. But I want to see if it's going to catch on. So everybody say 313. Let's see if that's going to catch on. Just for him. Shout out to him. Being a loyal friend. Fan. Fan. Friend. Loyal friend. Friend. He's not a fan. 313. Detroit. D-Town. Motown. Okay. <laughs> Bye.